Okay, Steve McGuffin, thanks for joining us for Sussex TV. Um, some news announced at the awards night on Saturday that you've signed a new two-year contract. That must be fantastic. Yeah, it is. I'm, I'm really pleased it's, um, you know, to sign on for another couple of years. Um, you know, I've been three seasons here now and I've, I've enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, I feel I'm playing really good cricket here at Sussex and uh, you know, delighted to, to be here for another couple of years at least um, to, to continue on playing. And a fantastic season for yourself. Um, 72 championship wickets, uh, just under 20. I mean, is that your best season yet at Sussex? Yeah, best season at Sussex, best season um, of my career, really. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's been an incredible year for me personally uh, to, to do so well in the championship uh, and contribute to, to the team. Um, yeah, it was a great result for us to finish third uh, at the end of the season. We had a great last month to finish off, so you know, the team's heading in the right direction, and if I can um, you know, go close to replicating some of those uh, efforts I've, I've had the last couple of years, and um, hopefully we can uh, move up that ladder a bit further. A lot of people say Sussex is a family club, but what is it that makes it so special? Oh, there's just great people that work down here as well as as, as the staff of players as well. It's, um, you know, you're, you're welcomed uh, from the moment you walk through the gates and, and everyone that you come into contact with at the club um, are, are really caring people and uh, they do everything they can to make sure that the team uh, has the best chance of, of doing well, uh, which is great. And um, you know, as a group of players, we like to think that we uh, sort of return the favour to their, our supporters and uh, of the club as well, and, and play good cricket and, and compete well and entertain people. As you mentioned, it was a fantastic finish to the championship season, finishing third with a couple of wins at the end there against uh, Lancashire and Notts and, and the draw at North Hants. Um, and looking forward to the next couple of years, how, how far away do you think we are from winning the championship? Uh, look, it's a it's a it's an unbelievably hard division, Division One. If you mean looking at the two teams that played in a relegation battle this last week in Middlesex and Lancashire, they're, um, they're they are two very very good teams in in their own right. So we know we've got a lot of work to do to to, to even just sustain our level of performance we've had over the past few years. Anyway, let alone look for areas to actually improve on and and try and get further up that that ladder. Um, you know, we I, I felt we competed really well against teams like Yorkshire this year who obviously were the standout side but um, we did our best to go toe to toe with them in two games and um, you know we did lose to them up at Scarborough but it was it was a really hard fought contest between us and them and um, you know could quite have gone down to it could have been a draw towards the end there they you know the, the time was an issue for them to get their runs and we had a few good chances in the game as well that could have resulted in a different in a different outcome as well so you know, we were in winning positions a lot this year as well. We had a good chance to win up at, at Old Trafford. Uh, we were done by the rain and we had a, a, a game that was completely washed out against Middlesex as well. So, you know, we probably feel we're close, but we do know that there's a few um, key moments of matches that we need to, to do better so that we can put games to bed and, um, and, and, and get the win and, and move on. And personal ambitions, I guess, to, just to keep taking wickets? Absolutely, yeah. It's, um, but that's that's the plan for me is to, to stay fit and healthy and, uh, and and get through my overs and get through my games and uh, you know I know that if I'm you know if I'm feeling well physically then uh, then I know I can uh, you know I've got sort of great trust in my own game these days as to how I'm going about it and what I'm trying to do when I'm playing and got great support from the guys and uh, his leadership as well is absolutely fantastic so yeah, that's the plan. Is to, is to is to you know I've always said the time I've been here to try and improve year upon year. Um, don't know whether I've set the bar the bar perhaps a bit too high now with this season, but uh, if I can have another good year the next couple of years, I'll be very happy. And winter plans? What does it hold for you? Uh, we're we're staying around again this year. We, we we normally do try and get back to Australia for a holiday uh, to see family, but uh, but this year we're not. We'll be around um, uh, in the winter, so have a month off and then um, back in here with the strength and conditioning guys for the winter to, to get myself ready for next season. Great stuff and congrats on the new contract. Thanks mate. Cheers. Thank you.